Hello everyone, and welcome to this video where we are going to be creating a script inside of Unity to help place things in a grid. Right here, you can see that I have a sample scene with nothing inside of it, and we're going to have to create our player. So we can create a 2D object, a sprite, and then a square. We can just name this player, but if you have a player, you won't need to do this. I'm just going to reset the transform so mine is in the middle. And then, I'm just going to keep it like this because I'm not going to be having my player move around or anything, I'm just going to have him place blocks on a grid. If you have your player move around in things, then you will make sure that you have that you're attaching the script that we're going to make onto your player. We are going to add a script to our player and add a component, a new script, and we're going let's name this grid placement. And then this script we can open it up inside of our choice of coding editor. I'm going to open it up inside of my Visual Studio 2022, and right when we're inside the script, we're going to have to create one variable at the, up at the top. Let's make it a public float. We're going to name this grid size. I'm going to set this to be one originally, but if you want to set this to be something like two, this is just going to be the size of the squares that we are going to be placing or whatever else. If you want to be placing items of furniture in a game or whatever, something like that. We're also going to need a public game object and it is going to be our thing to place down. If you have an inventory system in your game, this would be the thing that is in your hotbar or the thing that is selected. Or if you have anything else, then this would just be like a tile or a piece of something that you want to place down. But right now I'm just going to create a random prefab or something. Inside of update, we're going to create an if statement and this is going to be if our input dot get mouse button zero so our right mouse button when this happens we are going to call a call a method called place item and then it's going to give me an error because that method is not created yet so we're going to create a private void place item and then inside this we're going to have to instantiate our item but there's a few things we're going to have to do first because it's on a grid what we're going to do is we're going to get a we're going to create a float and we're going to name this mouse position we set this equal to where our mouse is on the screen so to do that we're going to type in camera dot main dot screen to to world point and then inside of the parentheses we're going to just type input dot mouse position this is just our mouse position and I'm just giving me an error here because it, I have a float and this is a vector 3 so we're, we can just change the return type to be a vector 3 but right now this is just going to place our item wherever our mouse is but we want to place it on a grid so that the items are nice and orderly so we're gonna have to create another thing so this is gonna be another vector 2 it's gonna be a snapped mouse position that this is going to be a mouse position that is snapped to the grid. So what we're gonna create is a new vector two, and inside this, for the x-axis, we are going to do a math f dot round, and for this, we're gonna do our mouse position dot x divided by our grid size times our grid size. For the x, we're going, or for the y-axis, we're going to do the same thing, a math f dot round, our mouse position on the y dot y divided by our grid size times our grid size. And you might be wondering, what does this do? Well, the math f dot round just rounds this to a near to the nearest integer. And this is just taking our mouse position and dividing it and then multiplying it again by our grid size just to create it. And it will place the item right in the middle of our grid system, which is a one by one, since it, well, we set the grid to a one. It has to, it's placing these items in a one grid so that they are all right next to each other and not on top of each other. Once we have our snapped mouse position, we're just going to instantiate our item. So we're going to type instantiate, and then we are going to, we are going to instantiate our thing to place down, or for you, whatever else. Then we're gonna our snap mount snapped mouse position and that quaternion dot identity. Once this is done, one we realize that 
our place item is inside of our update, we can go back inside the Unity Editor. Once we are inside the Unity Editor, we can check that the player is on here, and then we need a thing to place down. So, we can go into, in the hierarchy, create a 2D object, a sprite, and then a square. I'm just going to name this thing to place down, just to make this not look exactly like the player. I'm going to make it green, and then I'm going to make this a prefab. Then I'm going to delete it from the hierarchy, and then inside the player, I'm going to drag this prefab into here, so that whenever I place something down, it will place this prefab and instantiate it. So what we can do is we can click the play button. And when we're inside play mode, we can see here that when we click, it places down an object, but when we click next to it, it places down the object in a grid, so that we can create cool little shapes like this, and we, and we are able to place these things in a grid, so they're not just placed everywhere. Because if they weren't, then they'd be placed on top of each other, and then you weren't being able to see some of them while, be able, while being able to see others. With that, this is the end of this Unity tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give our channel a like and a subscribe, because it really helps out a ton. Thank you!